でねねでねねでねねでてでね。Hey guys, I have a camera here for the Minecraft video, and today、um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put out like I'm gonna be putting out like five or six videos today because I have not been putting out at all. I've been way too distracted with school and all this other stuff. But what I've really been doing. Is watching gameplay of Beyond Two Souls. That game is amazing. I would buy the game and make a let's play of it, but I'm kind of too afraid to play it by myself. So <laughs> yeah, it. I mean, it's really depressing and stuff. And I'm one of those guys who takes stuff like that kind of seriously. So yeah. But anyways, yeah, let's do this. So in my last survival, you guys know that didn't end very well. So this time I took out a bunch of mobs and stuff. I only left、um, player animation, which I add, actually added that one in. Player animation,、um, better oceans, the pet buddies mod, and the backpacks mod, and、um, also the Zan's mini map and、um, what's that other thing called? Damage indicator, just to make things a little more interesting and easier to do. But yeah, so it's not really going to change the game that much. Just a little extra stuff to put in. I added in the Ocean's Craft mod too because it's Ocean's Craft. Well, the Oceans in Minecraft I always thought were really bland and boring, and this makes them a little better. Can't really change the game that much. But yeah, let's just name this、um, a new life. Yeah, a new life. All right, so let's jump right in. Wait, let's just name this.、Um, ooh, gravity. I recently saw gravity and I. Freaking loved it. It was amazing. I get. I, I re highly recommend it to anyone and everyone who's ever existed in the history of ever. Go see it. It's probably it's one of Sandra Bullock's best works. Definitely. I'm not saying it's her best movie ever. I think I personally think her best movie ever is The Blind Side. That was a pretty good movie. But this is definitely a strong second. Really good. I like. I. I. You guys should just see it. Oh yeah, I think I did also leave in the pirate scrap mod. Whoopsies! All right, let's see what FPS is playing on right now because this is ridiculous. One, one FPS. Wow, wow, that is wow. All right, let's just wait. <laughs> I don't know what's up right now. I don't know what mod. I I realized that the um the smart moving mod really like lowered my FPS. But it shouldn't be okay. It's it's leveling out a little bit now. I think the world generation was just taking a little long. I didn't want to leave the pirate craft mod in. I I forgot it was called Code Masters. I thought that was just something that um you needed for the mod. Um, I th I thought that was just something you needed for a certain mod to work, like um how the more items mod or not enough items mod needs um. I forget. It needs a certain core mod to actually work. But anyways, I think you know what? I think I'm just gonna leave the pirate craft mod on. Look at that. Look at the ocean's craft mod. Look at what it adds in. Freaking whales. Look at how awesome those are. It's a freaking whale. That is. That's a whale. Look at that. Look at how. Look at how happy that is. What's up with these random frame drops? God, it's ridiculous. Is it the ocean's craft mod? Can't be the ocean's craft. Okay, I'm gonna see what happens when I go away from the ocean. Maybe the ocean scratch mod. Maybe it's messing up my back. My computer is good, but it's not that good. So yeah, it slow if you have times. Wow. You no, know, when I'm recording, I'm sitting here like usually I play Minecraft to music and stuff. But when I'm recording, I like just turn off everything and just talk to you guys. And right now it's kind of late at night. Not really that late. It's only like nine o'clock, and it's just kind of silent outside because here's the cars passing by, the wind whistling through the air. You just sit here and think, "Wow, nothing better to do on a Saturday night than to play Minecraft for five hours straight and record the whole thing and put it on YouTube." What a life! What a life I'm living. <laughs> yeah. You know, lately I've been kind of preoccupied with school and stuff.、Uh, applying to high school, it's pretty hectic. Meeting all my friends and. A lot of things I've known because I've been in my middle school. Actually, it's a middle school slash elementary slash kindergarten. So I've been there since kindergarten up to eighth grade now, and it's been insane. I've been a lot of new people, and a lot of my friends have transferred to other schools, and a lot of new friends have come in. I still have some friends that I've known since kindergarten who stuck with me, and just、uh, 
hell of a school. And now I have to leave all of them. Maybe forever. And go to a different chapter of my life. It's very hectic. And to know that the place you choose is the place you stay at for four years of your life. And a lot of people argue those are the most important years of your life. Big choice. I don't know. I just feel like... This is, I, and a lot of my friends are scared that they might not meet new friends or things might happen the wrong way and make the wrong choice, but I don't feel those feelings. I just, I know that whatever I do will be the right choice. I have wonderful time, meet new friends, have new experiences, and learn new things. I don't have any fears for high school. I don't know, <laughs> I guess I'm a little cock, cocky bitch, but... <laughs> I I don't I don't feel those fears right now. At least right now. They might just hit me like a tidal wave as soon as I walk through those doors first day of high school, but for right now I'm really optimistic for the future to come. It really pisses me off that you have to reapply for high school so early in the school year because you apply and get accepted into a high school and you make your choice and then you have to live out a whole other year of your life knowing that you'll just be separated from those people that you make bonds with. It feels like the last year of school was almost pointless. Mm, not just me. So this recording got way deep, way fast. How long have I been recording? What, three minutes? Wow. I'm that kind of guy. Alright, wait, what's that on my face? What's up with my skin? Oh, uh, it must be the player mark. Yeah, it must be the player animation mod. Yeah, I for completely forgot I had this installed. I, I guess I just put it on. Oh right, the player animation mod, it adds in eyes and stuff. I forgot about that. Oh crap, did I just drop those I just dropped those plants somewhere? <laughs> I was making a crafting table and I don't think I actually finished crafting the crafting table. I screwed up. Oh there it is. There. Alright, cool. Okay, let's just put this crap down here. And let's make a sword. No, actually I'll just make a pickaxe and go to that cave I saw earlier. Alright. Why do I still have my, um, why am I crafting so slow? Whenever I record, I'm telling you guys, man, whenever, whoops, took a screenshot. Whenever I record, it's always the slowest thing with me. You know, should I, should I, um, uh, take out, uh, should I get, no, I need a stone. I'm pretty sure for the, um, timber mod to work, I need a stone pickaxe for my, um, last recording. I could easily just look it up right now, but I don't feel like, I don't feel like making it. I don't feel like giving me more to edit because I already have to edit like five or six videos tonight and put them out. I don't know. I, I'm recording this. It's, it's, a, it's a Saturday night, but these videos probably won't come up until like maybe um, mid Sunday morning, mid Sunday afternoon, maybe like one o'clock on Sunday. Oh right, I forgot. This is a texture pack that I put on. Um, what I did was I went to the text and I changed a bunch of stuff. So, um, a lot of the mods have uh, peculiar names, to say the least. I named the skeletons an Osama Bin Laden because they're dead. And they're, oh, nah, don't, 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 just don't. Alright, it's, it's all a comedic effect. I know you guys are going to be like, it's controversial and stuff. Just calm down, this is YouTube. Alright, you want some controversial deep crap? Go watch CNN. This is YouTube. This is serious stuff serious comedy where we go everywhere and no returns you know all right just don't complain about that crap this just makes it it makes it harder for the, the video producers and it makes it harder for everyone else if it's just trying to read the comments up and just watch a good video and well I wouldn't call my videos good but a video might have made them laugh or chuckle a bit how you know you made the day a little brighter and you come in with that crap uh, no alright just calm down so Sam Bin Laden you still have to deal with it or well, to still kill these guys because you know Navy SEALs all over again the strike operation okay you know what there's one thing for me to name them lad but then I take that like five steps too far let me just slow down back up beep 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 and no, fuck, what the fuck? I knew there was a second one. Where'd he go? It was that. Where'd he go? Oh, okay. I've been playing a lot of Pixelmon lately, so like, I saw the gravel and instantly thought, Oh my god, gravel! I can dig through it, maybe I'll find a fossil! Alright. 
Pixelmon, I was gonna do a let's play on Pixelmon, but Pixelmon is like really hard to find food in. I have to make like a bunch of farms and stuff. I might make a let's play for Pixelmon, but like, at the same time, where would you stop with that? Like, what would be the objective of that? Alright, I'm actually, I actually forgot to start crafting. God, with me in the crafting right now, it's ridiculously slow. And this is because I haven't been playing Minecraft recently at all. I've just been doing homework and watching Beyond Two Souls. Oh, you know what? And speaking of good shows, you know what else is a good? Well, not good shows. Good, good, whatever. Good media. Um, the two two shows, both animes. That are, well, actually, well, two shows that are both animes. I won't get into all the animes are like, but two shows that are both animes that I have fallen in love with are um. Well, well, this one came out a while ago. It's already like finished to completion. Is Sword Art Online is the greatest thing? I think it's like Sword Art Online is probably the best. Um, the first season of that is probably the best season of anything ever. Cause the show only has one season, and it's so good. It's so good. It's it's ridiculously good. Um, a lot of people argue that after a couple episodes, like romance was like um. Something that was, you know, in the show, not really too overwhelming, but like, you know, there was the actual, um, story of the anime and stuff, but then, a after a while, romance became, like, the main thing in the anime, and people thought it was overwhelming. I freaking loved it. I don't care how, how many homosexual comments I get, I loved it. It was so good. I sound like a fangirl right now, but <laughs> yeah, that... Um, I got like completely obsessed with that until I finished it to completion and like I just felt empty until I saw um, Attack on Titan. I discovered Attack on Titan and that just brightened up my life so much. Like that was amazing. It's still going. Attack on Titan is like a fairly new show. Um, new anime. A lot of people have known about it. It's, got, it's gained popularity really fast. It's ridiculous. Attack on Titan is... Probably gonna get. I've been talking. I like. I found. I was explaining it to my friend, and we were going up an escalator, and I was talking to him about it. And this dude, like this dude, grown, grown dude, like he's probably he's at least in his twenties with his girlfriend. Just turns around and escalator. It's like you guys are talking about Attack on Titan, and me and him just fangirled over that show. Oh my god, it will get anime of the year, definitely, no problem. That show is amazing. Have you seen it? It's so good. Did you read the manga? Oh no, I didn't read the manga. Oh, you should read the manga. It's so good. Yeah, that that show was amazing. If you, uh, I didn't explain Sword Art Online, but I don't, I don't, I don't really like it. But I will explain Attack on Titan if you haven't seen it. It's about um. It's about these titans, and they pop up in humanity, basically, and they don't really need to eat to survive, but it seems like their main objective in life is just not to eat humans, but to just slaughter humanity. Like, the, they just pick you up and eat you for no reason. And humans were afraid of them, like, humans were just dying for years, for hundreds of years. And the popularity of humans went from millions to hundreds in mere years. So what humans did was they built giant walls to keep them out, because these titans were huge. Like, huge. The biggest, like, average titan is about, um, I think average titan is about what 50 meters or i don't know 50 i think 30 meters is that sounds about right 30 meters average titan about 30 meters and that's a, that's a, a huge 30 meters is, yeah so and you can't kill them they regenerate health and limbs and everything the only way to kill a titan is to slit the cape of his neck like right behind his neck there's like a little weak spot only way to kill a titan so and humanity built these walls, and they were safe inside them for years, training and figure out ways to um, defeat titans. And they came up with um, 3D maneuver gear, and basically they're just hooks and pulleys that can like um, let you grapple onto buildings and fly around. Um, so you are able to get to the back of a titan's neck, you know, because they're way taller than you. You have to fly up there and slice their neck. So basically, what um, what happens is. A giant titan one day comes down and destroys the walls, and they have to figure out a way to save humanity after that. It's it's a very compelling story. There's a main character who um, discovers he has a power, and he's basically the only person who can save humanity after the walls are taken down. 
It's it's really compelling, really good show. I can just go on, go on and on this entire recording about it, and all the other recordings. As a matter of fact, I've been like, they haven't. Um, they usually release a new episode every week, and they haven't released a new episode in about like three weeks now. Even though the an the manga is like five like fifty episodes ahead of it, I don't know what they're waiting for. If they're making like, if the um producers are also working on a different anime, they have to animate or something. But they're ready to get on that because a lot of a lot of fans are waiting. It's it's a really good show. We should. I, I I just don't even don't even continue watching this. You know what? Actually, yeah, continue watching this. But when this is over, you should go check out Attack on Titan. It's it's a pretty good show. I I, I guarantee you won't regret it unless you're on into anime for some for some reason because you're just a piss ass. Nah, I won't judge if you don't like anime. You don't like anime. I mean, we have a we have our um. <laughs> Oh god, ideals. Oh no, no, no. Taste. God, why? Why can't I think of a word for that? Like, I just froze up onto that. Okay, hold up. Let's see some cannibal husk. What the um, one thing that the oceans craft. Why am I freezing up now? All of a sudden, I'm recording. We think that the oceans craft mod adds in are cannibals, and basically these cannibal huts are basically kind of like little um dungeons. They're like witch huts, except they have a chest. And shit. Oh yeah, I named zombies KKK man please if you didn't see that from the damage from Kater's mod. Alright. So I gotta keep going. Yeah, and they have like little shells and stuff in there that you can, like stuff that you can basically get from the Ocean's Craft mod. And it's it's pretty cool. I'm gonna go check those two out. They're they're very common. A little a little easy way to get loot. I won't I won't hit them up that much because um I don't want it to be really unfair. Ooh, it dropped nine in it. I don't want it to be unfair to like the whole survival thing where I can just continue to get loot from those and I won't have to actually do any like surviving. Oh right, I should have. Uh, the only reason I put on um, cheats is so I could do this. Um, oh wait, no, no. Oh crap, let me just kill that thing first. God damn it. And oh my fucking gosh. Kill this thing! Ah! Why am I act? Why am I so slow? My reflex is just deplete. Whenever I'm recording, I've said that like three times already. Okay, I hate the waypoint that says last death. I hate that so much. Like it's useful, but at the same time, well, like if I have um, if I have on keep inventory, which I'm about to put on, it, it's not really, it's not really. There's no reason for it. Um, the last death thing, it just gets in the way of um, it just gets in the way of stuff like. It's always on your map, and it's always pointing an arrow to it. Like it gets in the way of other more important um, waypoints that you might put on throughout the game. Game rule: keep um, inventory true. All right, cool. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dig a little thing here, do that, and I wanna cook some food. So I don't keep continuously dying. I should get my. I have enough wood, and I have the timber mod on, so wood won't be a problem. I don't really. I don't like wasting anything in Minecraft, but right now I don't feel like going back to the cave just to get another crafting table when I can make one now, anyways. All right, so I'm gonna let that food cook, and I have on the fleshed leather mod because I have on the backpacks mod. If you guys know the, if you guys are familiar with the backpack mod. Um, from either Hexit or any other mod pack or whatever. If you just if you just know the backpack mod, then you know that it takes a hell of a lot of um, of letters to make any backpack. It's ridiculous. So yeah, I'm just gonna chill here for a little while and um, just wait for my food to cook and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm I don't know. I was thinking of after this making a modded survival pack. Um, I mean, not survival pack. Making a model survival, modded survival series, that would be awesome. But uh, we'll see. I'm still working on the Terraria series. I want to put out like two or three episodes of this today, not today, tomorrow, I, I guess, in retrospect. And um, and I want to make um, I want to also put out like one or two episodes of the Terraria too, because I haven't been doing that. I don't know if I should um. If I want to do multiplayer with my friends, like because you can like set up a server, it's pretty cool. Um, uh, I'll put a link to it. I'll put a link to a channel in the description below. How about that? Yeah, yeah, he's pretty cool. I need to 
Shout out to him. But shout out to all my other friends. Shout out to him. It's pretty cool. You, know, you, you, you two just gotta stick together. Really intelligent guy. Really cool. No Mario Rogue. Really good friend. And um, yeah, so we um he can um hook up a server, we can do multiplayer and stuff. I, I wanna record a couple episodes of that, but I don't know if I should tie that into my survival series or make that a completely different series altogether. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'll think about it. You see, I, my YouTube is, channel isn't big enough for me to be like, hey, leave a comment, tell me what to do. There's a lot of decisions I have to make on my own, which is cool, which is cool. But it'd be cool to hear what you guys think, my viewers. But yeah, uh, um, I don't, I don't know what to do with that right as, as of now. But for now, um, I'm just gonna put out as many videos as I can. I haven't been putting out any mini game, um videos at all lately because of my internet problems for some reason a lot of servers aren't working for me such as mineplex and um, mine cave you know all these servers with really cool mini games like i don't it's not because they're popular i want to play them like i'm not trying to just get like cheap views but just because of the fact that they're like some really cool mini games like the walls and stuff um mineplex i have never actually played on that server i have never been able to connect on it but I've seen videos of the coolest mini games on it. Escape the Dragon, um, Smash Mobs, Snake Sheep. I mean, Sheep Snake, not Snake Sheep. Um, the Dragon Run. You know, uh, all those really cool games. Smash Cow. Really, Mindplex has some really creative, really creative server games ideas. And I, I really appreciate what those guys are doing. You know, spring away from the typical. Um, the creative server or survival server that um, people can grieve or whatever. It's just um, it's just nice to, to see something different in Minecraft for a while. I mean, uh, for a game about creating anything and everything, we've really been lazy. Like it's the only people I really um, think have have been doing a pretty good job of keeping up the creativity are the builders and the mod um, the mod makers. Those guys have been putting up some insanely creative mobs. The Toon Mob, the um, Pirates Mob, I like the Mob Shooter Mob, the Pigs Mod, uh, um, a bunch of mods, you know? The mods that just that make Minecraft a fun game. I like the Web Display Mod, it's just, they're great. And, you know, they're really, really compensated for the things that the people at Mojang just aren't, aren't doing. Like, it seems like a long time ago Minecraft turned away from being creative to being more like a real life. I mean, if you wanted to play a game simulated to real life, then why don't you just play The Sims? Minecraft is different, you know? Minecraft isn't about all that. Minecraft is an escape from real life rather than having a second one. Minecraft is a place where you can be anything and everything, and you'll always accept it. I don't understand what these guys are doing, but I, I really think that they really sold out. You know, after pretty much after they um they after the one point I think it was the one point eight point two update or whatever. I don't I don't exactly remember what the update was called, but it was the update with the Ender Dragon. That was pretty much the end of creativity in Minecraft. After that, things just kind of stayed the same. I mean, they added in a certain new updates here and there with um, some other stuff that kind of made Minecraft a little more cool. But I really think that Minecraft Minecraft was a lot cooler back in the day. You know? Wow! I I'm so happy I did not get rid of the pirates mod. I just got a a gun, and I got I just got two guns from the pirates mod. So that's pretty cool. I don't have any. I can't load. It takes forever to load those guns, and I don't want to shoot them. But you can able to do massive damage. All right, let's see if I can go over right this one here. I forgot how you collect these shells, but it seems like I just break those. Oh, oh, cool! A turtle. Awesome. I love the ocean craft mod. It just makes things look so much. I wanna. The, the also a problem I have with Minecraft is what I put on keep inventory. Are you kidding me? Keep inventory true. Why is it not slash kill? Oh, right. I should probably have something in my inventory first. There we go. Slash kill. What? Why is it? Oh, yeah, sure. Right. 
Let's go back to my stuff. <sighs> Whatever. I don't. I I realize I was. I I like. I remember I was making a point before I died. I do remember that. All right. Another another thing I have um against Minecraft right now is how bland the Nether is. Like it's oh, it's not exciting to go there anymore. I remember the first time I went to the Nether, it was like, oh cool, the Nether, wow, awesome, oh zombie pigmen, so cool, and now it's like. And this is probably gonna be like my hundredth time going to the Nether, and now it's gonna be like, oh, zombie pigmen. Uh, let's, let's get all this. Let's get the stuff I need and get the hell out of here. There's no excitement from going to the Nether. There's no, oh, you know what? I'm going to the Oval. I'm going. I'm getting tired of the Oval. Let's go. Let's go to the Nether, and my experience, the experiences that are there. There are none. It's just you, you go into the Nether fortress, the fortress, get what you need, and then get out. There's no anything there's no objective there's well there is an objective but there's there's nothing else there's there are no dungeons or anything like that there are no um surprises there's no ores that are worthwhile getting there's nothing there's nothing to really do in the nether besides go to the nether <laughs> you know it's, it's it's not really i don't i don't know if i'm getting my point off completely yet but as, as much i don't know i don't know if i'm really explaining what i really want to explain right now I kind of just rambling on, but if you if you know what I mean, then yeah, it's it's a little bland. I, I wanted I wanted to change a little bit. That the end is all right. The end. I don't have a problem with the end because it's set up kind of like a boss fight. You know, it doesn't really mean all that much. But um, I think um, it'd be cool if the strongholds had some challenges in there too. Like, I know the stronghold, you have to, like, find the end of portal and blah, 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 blah. But it, it kind of seems like you just kind of find it and then you jump in the portal. I kind of think it would be cool if I had, like, some challenges to face in there, too. And then there's, like, a boss fight. Like, a final boss fight. Like, um... It'd be, like, like, um, it'd be cool if it was set up, like, Mega Man. Where they had, like, the Robot Masters and then the final boss, like, Dr. Wily. It'd be cool if it was set up like that. Where they added in more bosses into the, um, into the Stronghold so that, um, you don't just jump. When you, like, it's worthwhile to find, you know? You can get, um, you can get, like, new stuff that the, um, the bosses you just faced dropped or whatever to fight, um, the, the boss with, the final boss with. Maybe if you can make the, um, uh, and end the dragon have like a certain attack pattern or whatever make it a little more interesting than just oh just wait for it to come hit it done come hit it done repeat until it's dead that's kind of bland you know i don't know i just i don't think i think i think minecraft is just bland like for a game that that talks so much stuff about oh we're really creative and stuff and you can build anything the adventure aspect and stuff of it is just really bland, you know? I mean, they don't need to add in any more creative stuff into this because the game already gives you all of that. So what else do you have to do but to add on to the adventure aspect of the game? Like, come on. That's, that's it. That's all you really have to do with all the updates. That's what all the updates have been trying to do. I'm failing miserably at it. But... Yeah, I, I just I just don't agree with the direction Minecraft is going in right now. With the whole um It just just bad. I'm really hoping they get their act together. That was the longest rant about Minecraft I've ever had. To, with my with with myself or recording alike. That was just long. But it's true, I, I do believe all of that that Minecraft um Really straight away from the main mission that over the years really, really sold out. Alright, I don't really, I'm gonna really have to let some stuff go. I don't need you with you, so I can just put this on now and make room for more things. I need a backpack. I can make a backpack now, actually. Let me make a backpack right now. Not a backpack. Because this is not gonna work out for very long. All right, here goes the backpack. I don't like the color it is. I'm gonna change it to white real quick. I don't know. I just don't like the regular brown backpack. 
All right, then let's just open it up and put everything inside. Here we are. All right, cool, cool. Now I want to keep the coral sword, so I'll just put that there. Put that in there. Put that. There. I'll just take that. Put that there. My backup sword. This is a flintlock. I'll use that if I ever get into a scrap. And um, I'm pretty sure. I, oh. All right, cool. That's still loaded. All right, it's locked and loaded. So I have all of that. Put my food there. Actually, I don't think I'll just put that there. Yeah, I'll just put that there. And um, I don't need you. I don't need you. Uh, I could. I could make a bow. I could make a bow, but I don't really feel like making a bow. I don't. I don't. I don't know why. I don't, I don't feel like making a bow at this time right now. Um, I don't really think it'll help. I just, I, I'm not really a bow person anyways, like, I like bows and all, but melee is my game. Too many hunk games for me. <laughs> Alright, let's just see if I can kill this crab. Crabs, um, I'm pretty sure, I hope the ocean's crab, uh, mod, well, crabs are part of the ocean crab mod period, but I'm pretty sure they drop, um, crab meat. So, I could use, I could beat that or stuff. Oh, crap, those zombies do a lot of damage. Well, pirates. And they're really fast. Oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap! I am surprised I am not dead right now. Alright. Let's see. Nice. Okay. And there we go. Decimation. Okay. I don't think I can. Um, I'm just going to keep spawning. So I don't, I don't think I can get close enough to them to destroy the spawner quite yet. So let's see if I can just. There we go. Actually. Let's just get that. I forget the actual importance of that, but I'm gonna keep it anyways. Oh yeah, I forgot, you can just um, walk up and kill fish now. So if I just do this, come on fishy, 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 fishy. Why do they have 20 hearts? Oh crap, oh crap! Oh crap! Shit, I'm screwed! Damn it. Alright, let's get my stuff back! How long have I ever had that recording? Excuse me, one moment too. I don't. Uh, I know it's unprofessional to show my recording. But right now, how long have I actually been recording? Um, I've been recording for 32 minutes. All right, 32 minutes I've been recording. So I think I might just end this episode off here after I get my stuff, and I'll continue from here. So yeah, actually, you know what? Um, the editing software I use is um, or, well, the way it works is I don't know if I can just keep recording and then cut the video in half. I don't know if I can do that. You know what? No, because I want to have outros in them. I mean, I know I'm just gonna keep recording the stuff, but I I want to keep I want to have outros. But, so yeah, uh, uh, let me get my stuff and then I'll end this off. Wait, wait, what is that? Oh, I thought that was a monster. Alright, cool. I'm really digging this new mod. Like, ooh, two flat mark. I think that will help. Oh, this will help immensely. Alright, cool. Those zombies aren't actually there, so I can just get my stuff and get out of here. Bring stuff to me. Oh, wow, they really scattered my stuff all over the place, didn't they? My experience. Experience. I, I feel like. I oh, crap. I'm not going to survive this one. Uh, I mean, I, I will survive it, but I'm not gonna. I wanna screw it. You know what? You guys know what I meant. Alright. I really missed the, um, the smart move mod, I have to say. I really missed the faster swimming. One of the things that I really, I really find tedious about Minecraft is the whole swimming thing. I like boats. I hate the new boat mechanics, though. Really. They're really confusing compared to the old ones. Oh, that's what. Okay. Oh, okay. Do, do I have all of my stuff? Yeah, I have everything. I forgot I put everything in a, um in my backpack. Wait, where's my stone stuff? Where's my sword and stuff? This is uh, uh this is my pickaxe. Sword. Where's my sword? My sword was probably broken when I was attacking the pirates. Oh no, I already have it. All right, cool. So yeah, that was oh shit. Fuck I miss! Oh go, I hit him, I hit him. And die! Oh crap! Oh crap, I am not losing my stuff again.
Congratulations. Congratulations, wow. Okay, let's try this again. I'm going to go back over there, get my stuff, then have a proper outro. Okay? Alright? Okay, guys? Is that what's gonna happen? Yeah, you guys are my witness. You guys know. It's just gonna happen. Okay? That's exactly what's gonna happen. That's what's gonna go down. I'm gonna go over there, get my stuff. Get my stuff. And get on. Actually, you know what? Let me turn off the texture pack. Because I'm pretty sure I did add in. Um, the better grass and trees. Not. Did I? Did I? It makes my graph look a little better. No, I don't think I, I didn't. I didn't. I turned those off. I, I thought those were the reasons my, my frames were so low. My frames usually aren't that low. Um, they're usually 150 or something. But that's only when I play without mods. But like it seems like any mod, no matter what it is, except for um, Optifine, makes it makes my Minecraft go a lot slower. It like it dropped my FPS from like 150 to like 30. Well, 30 is good. 30 is good enough to record, but it's not the ideal. Well, it, it's not. It is ideal. I crap. It is ideal. It's just not what I usually play on Minecraft. You know what I mean? I mean, like, it's usually, um, okay, I'm getting destroyed. Oh, God, God. Um, oh, I have an idea, I have an idea. Come on, come on, get up there. Don't shoot me off, skeleton. I swear to skeleton. No. <laughs> Even if I have to barricade myself, it's not going to be like that. All right, cool. Okay. Well, <laughs> that was that. That was the first. Well, this is this is the first episode of my Minecraft Survival Series revamped. So yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll be putting out some more episodes today, so look forward to those. Um, watch those and stuff. Um, you know, if you like that, if you like the video, the, oh, it looks like it, it's just about to like shoot you in the face. Yo, what's up? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Step with me, bro. I'm stuck, bro. I'm ready right now, bro. Let's do this, bro, right now. But yeah, so um, like the video, leave a like, uh, comment, tell me what I'm doing wrong, tell me what I should be doing better, tell me you like the video, be do 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 do, um, tell me what I should do next, whatever you want, you can me. So yeah, um, like, favorite, do whatever you want. Um, definitely check out my videos in the description. They're all they're all pretty good in their own unique ways. Um, one thing I have to say is the Mario nerd, my friend, he's um revamping his channel. So if you go over there and you um. Don't see any videos and stuff. Just know he will be um, making a new channel or changing that one and um, revamping the style. Um, everyone else is really cool. You know, my bro Tyson, Tyson Cool works. Um, Tyson Cool videos over there. Yeah, he's, he's pretty cool. He does Minecraft videos too. Um, there's some guys I um, I've met over YouTube or oh, on accident actually. And Cobble works. They're pretty cool. Check them out. They've been doing this a lot longer than I have, and they're um they're 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 going up. They only have about 22 subscribers, but they're they're definitely worth watching. They they, they do take time to make their videos, and they put out some good quality things. So check them out. Also check out um my bro Epic Tricks. He does some pretty cool Black Ops montages. Check those out. No, not Black Ops montages. Um, Call of Duty in general montages. So yeah, check those out. They're pretty cool. They're really well edited and really they're, they're, they're pretty cool just check those out and um yeah make sure to check out my next video my new videos and stuff my old videos and like and subscribe and stuff and this is the longest intro outro in the history of ever so i'll see you guys later bye